Vinny and Abby. What's up? Hello. Hi. Hi. Tacoma. Tacoma. Ba 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 ba. No, mm. we're not going to do that. I Sorry. Mean, I would. I would have gone with like a my Tacoma. Yeah, that's not bad either. Tacoma, or like the car. T Tacoma. Drive one today. Let's drive a Tacoma right now. What is All Tacoma? Who's it by? Where can you get it? Uh, this is the new game from Fulbright. Makers mm -hmm. have gone home. Mm -hmm. uh, it is twenty dollars. It is on Steam. It's on Xbox One. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is it for now. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna start a new game because, like, uh, Gone Home, this is a narrative-focused game, and I don't want to show off too much of that necessarily. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. I already turned off cloud save, so I won't overwrite my stuff at home. I don't really know much about this other than you're on, uh, you're in space in some kind of transport. Yes, that is. Well, you're on a space station. Okay. Uh, it is in the vein of Gone Home in the sense that it is a space that you are picking through. A rummaging simulator. Yes, it is a rummaging game. Uh, but it is more, All right, I mean, well, obviously it's a sci-fi story because you're in space. Okay. Uh, but that said, uh, it is, I would say, at least from what I've played so far, which I think is a little over half, uh, it feels like a little bit more of like just kind of a straightforward sci-fi story. You okay. know what I mean? It's just like, okay. it's just doing a thing and then that is what it is doing. So rogue AI, everybody's dead. I mean, so there is AI <laughs> from where I, I'm, I haven't finished the game yet. Uh -huh. From where I am in the story, it doesn't really feel yet like it's a rogue AI situation necessarily. There is an AI. Of course there is. It's space. But they haven't presented the AI up to this stage of the story as particularly menacing. Is it roguish? Eh. You can, I'm, like sassy? I'll, I'll leave you to find out the details of what this AI is all about. Is it, uh, the AI from what I just heard is mini? Uh, this is this is just the AI for this ship. Okay. What do you got going on on your screen there? Hope what? Hope uh, hope uh, oh we're docking. Yes. Who's talking to you? Oh, Minnie. No. Yes. Thanks, Minnie. So you've been sent to the station. Something happened here. You don't know what yet. You, your job is to go collect data and find out what <laughs> what happened on the space station Tacoma. Take your DSXL. Yes. <laughs> got it. Uh, t you know, tablets of the future, uh, they, they found the DS design very favorable. <laughs> Apparently it worked. Hey, Abby, can I get slightly more game audio? Thank you. I suspect this would probably be pretty atmospheric. Yes. You don't see a lot of wood in space. Usually they're like composites and plastics. Well, you know, I mean, you can have wooden things. You can, but I'm surprised somebody would sh ship anything in a wooden crate. It seems heavy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Also flammable. For the also wood flammable. Yes, there is that. Yeah. I mean, I'm look. What I'm saying is, you wouldn't want to build a space station out of it. But I mean, you could have wooden things on there. You know, I've seen a lot of fun fantasy. We like to have fun here. What, Vinny? Are you ready for AR? Like it's the future. Audio reality, augmented. Gosh, what if you put those on backwards? You die. <laughs> you die in AR. You die in real life. Pretty much. What's it called? Ardware? I am Odin. Yes. The transfer station Tacoma's operational data interface network. I have recorded this message to welcome you, uh -oh. guests, aboard. Before this, I can set up your station program, is this the AI? You must this is the AI. Because he seems like a dick already. Eh, uh, he's, he's oh, aloof. I don't trust this That's AI. how I would describe this AI. On the AR figure's palm. Alright. We're gonna sync up here. And get all AR'd out. Oh, so you're just clicking to... Yes. Okay. This is cool. The mechanics of this are pretty simple. It's a lot of just like finding points in the environments to click on, things to pick up and mess around with. <laughs> like how the calibration is like missing your loved one in prison uh, yes. simulator. <laughs> Put your hands on the glass. All right. Whoa. Huh. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome aboard. No keyboards in the future. I guess. Just hand signals. Or like, I guess you don't have to talk. I guess if you're in space, like, maybe the sound doesn't travel. Well, I mean, you're in a room. But maybe in general, like, you adopt that. You can't see lips. I don't know. That's cool. 
Any questions about piracy? Oh, everything's fine. Yeah, no, that AI is totally cool. So, we didn't miss any setup. This is no, the this is it. Okay. This is the very beginning of the game. And like I said, I don't want to go too deep into this because I, I think it's... It, the game kind of shows what it, what you do in it pretty early on, mm -hmm. and I think you know discovering the story for yourself is probably much more the way to go. Can I see your AR desktop? Yeah. One? Oh wow. All right. So everyone has these little AR desktops uh, and things you can click on. Uh, so that's that's her ID. That's your ID. This is your character, Amy. Uh, oh, okay. That's you. Yes. And so what are you? You're what? essentially here to collect data. Security. Corporate yeah. Security. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fountain of Paradise. Foundation of Paradise? Okay. Ridden the zines? Yes. And if you want to see what the crew... This is the crew... Oh, wait. Hang on. Sorry. Let's view the crew roster. Okay. All right. Station admin. Clive. Clive. What up, Clive? Operations specialist. Okay. Natalie. Hey, Natalie. She's got, like, um, like a faith tattoo... Future Tats. Future Tat, yeah. Roberta. Okay, Roberta. Mechanical Engineer, okay. Oh, something happening to your right, or you're, you're good? <laughs> no, it's just a robot. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. All right. Sarah and uh, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. That's our crew. He's All right. So wait, what did they bring? They brought a medic, a botanist, network, operation, station, and mechanical. That seems fair. Yeah. This was not This was not 27 architects or, or buildy people. What? As Dan Dan would say. <laughs> Were you here for that? I don't I, I think I might have been. Okay. I don't remember. All right. Maybe Alex wasn't here. Abby knows what I'm talking about. Alright, so here's our message from work saying, Hey, go go to the station, do your job, and we'll do our job. Okay. Uh, and then there's a map here that kinda tells you where you are on the station. Okay. So each area of the station it has to be you have to go there, you have to plug your PDA in uh, -huh. uh and download the data from that area. Okay. And while you're there, you're going around, and I'll show you exactly what you do. Okay, you want to do one area? Yeah. So, so there's this first. Is thing. it fairly linear, or do you, oh? Well, so I think what you we... could theoretically do this stuff in any order, because uh, the story, the the flashbacks, the things you're you're encountering here are these AR recordings of stuff that happened. Wait, this is not real? No, this is AR. How do this you... is so the 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 CPU the the AI is constantly recording everything that's happening. Uh on this station. So, you really miss it, huh? So why do you get no. this? Because this it is a recording strange, of people from the station really? when they, you know, After when they were here, that, wherever they went, I don't know yet, but, uh... And the AI thought this was yeah, important for you to see? Or it's just that. stuff that just was lingering there. And then okay. There's this. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. You know, I think I might go get that done. Oh, so it does say okay. who it is when you yeah. hover over him? Yes. Okay. Probably should too. Oh, okay, uh, then... wait. Is today obsolescence day? Yeah. Didn't Odin give you a job to do? No. No. A computer playing favorites. Oh, How... In any future at this point, mm -hmm. is anybody surprised by an AI doing anything weird? I just grabbed that sanitation drone. What? I'm gonna throw it. Romeo. Yeah. Bye. <coughs> I mean, so the, the, the future they kind of lay out here is that space travel, while a, a semi-normal concept, is, uh -huh. is not something that a lot of people do, at least not to the extent that these people do. And the AI tech that they are using, uh, from what I've gathered for the playing thus far, is relatively new. Like AI exists in various forms, sure, but the there's different versions of it, and you know there's they all come with their own quirks. What's so, what's uh, what's the Tacoma Dome? Uh, that's where that's I believe that's just where I was. Okay. Yeah. So this is like the observation area where people just go oh, to neat. hang out in okay. anti grav and like stare at the Earth. Earth. That's cool. All right. So we're gonna go to the first area here, uh, which is where these people were about to go. So you're kind of following them around. I like the yeah. look of this space station. Yeah, it's got a cool look, and the way they kind of design it, like it feels like you're in like a station. You know, like everything's kind of broken out in such a way, like there are these different segments. Like, yeah. It feels like operational in a way. Like space station, space station gravity and 
orientation is really interesting to me, especially in like sci-fi and even in reality yeah. of like, oh, you're, there's no really no up or sideways or north or whatever. You're just you're whatever. Yeah. Like, on the uh, International Space Station, when like the astronauts first get there, they're so motion sick, and apparently they have like the up and down because there isn't one. They'll like turn around and see somebody else upside down, and then immediately start vomiting. Uh, uh. I mean, I, I probably would too. <laughs> uh, so this is basically the game's loading is just like dropping you down into these, these oh, gotcha. areas of yeah, that, elevators. That elevator. Yeah, uh, we that's how we we all know that's how you load in space. Yep. it's been proven. Got a message. So this is from off. The ship. Yes, this is this is your your company being like, hey, here's what's going on. Okay, uh, so even they know the AI something's up. Yeah. Uh, so they've disabled some of it here. Uh, they're saying don't talk to the AI <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> what's growing up up top there, bud? All right. So got we'll, some like ivy or something above you. Yeah. Let me just plug this in here and I'll take a look at that. You gonna get brain age? So again, this is off off ship. Yeah. And your transfer rate's pretty slow, man. Yeah, this is a long process, and this <laughs> is also ha basically this is the game's way of telling you how much stuff you've collected oh, because gotcha. uh, it won't that thing won't finish until you've seen everything there is to see. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. I like that. All right. So it, as you're going through this, it's going up as you you're seeing stuff. Yes. Okay. Do, All right. Do so, you have to get it to 100? percent Uh, you do. I mean, it's not hard to do so. Okay. Like this, this is not necessarily that challenging of game. There, are ver there's very little puzzle stuff in here, like finding keys and key codes and stuff like that. But that's kind of it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start our uh, our first tour here in the uh, the the administrative area, and we're just gonna. Watch this video from this perspective to start. I like all these like uh, hand motions. Yeah, like Minority Report style. Yearly report to Venturas Corporation, take three. Uh, Odin, have you got me? I am prepared. Okay, I'll just uh, have my notes up. Okay, so while we're here, before we jump too into this, uh -huh. this is how. So the, every single area has these AR recordings, and there are these specific moments where this this will become available. And what you're trying to do is get all the data, extract all the data from these moments. Okay. So when you're following this character around for a brief time, this window is open, and when it's open, you you click on it, and you can sort of go through their like basically their AR data. Uh, okay. And here is this is how you were finding out like sort of the supplemental information of like what's been going on. How come some of it's still missing? Uh, because it's uh, the idea is that a lot of the data has been corrupted on the station. Oh, so will, will you, you just, never get it back? Y yeah, you're just okay. piecing together what you can from what's left. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'm sorry. I thought you were like decoding the that stuff. Yeah, so that one that one didn't work. All right. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here about uh, unions and labor and, you know, space labor and space and unions, corporations like spoonions. This is a future where the corporations kind of run everything. But also it feels like they're talking about actual corporations like they reference like Hilton and like Amazon and Wait, stuff. Really? In here. Yeah. Like actual Amazon or they say like Amazon. I mean, they say Amazon Lunar transfer station Tacoma. It's been a year. So you see the check mark down there on the bottom part of the the playing mm -hmm. section. That means I found one of the four things that I need to find in this this one. And this it's her monologue here. Yes. Odin's been great. But the other ones will probably pertain to other characters that are. Ha she got to sit on the cat. <clears throat> Auto drone to House cat. Okay, sorry. Have improved in efficiency by so I need to go find the engineer if I want to find the second one. Okay. Because this is all happening simultaneously. Like, simultaneously. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, our proudest moment as a crew, I think, was when a resort guest needed emergency care while on a transit vessel. Well, she doesn't seem like a great public speaker. To be stabilized in one of our medical stasis cryo beds. Whoa. Until she could be we're about to cut the cake. Ah, right. Um, be right there. Oh, so it only... We'll get back to this after the party. Okay? Does it only flick up for a second that like it's engineering? Yes. Okay, kind of have to remember. So you've got what is that? Okay, is so I'm gonna to pause be? that because I've got. How'd you get that? Oh, what was the key? One, two, two. There we go. Yeah, I watched her do it. Oh, I see. So, um, can you rewind anytime you want? Yes. Oh, that's that's neat. All right. So this is is this the hook? Yes. Is, okay. I don't think I knew this. 
Yeah, so the hook is you're just trying to, to watch as much of these as you can. And, you know, again, you really only have to collect the ones that are marked with the question marks. Sure, but it's got like a almost like a sexy brutal thing going yes. on, right? So, I'm gonna pause this thing here. I can look at her desktop now. Uh, so they're now at the stage where, like, you know, luxury space is starting to become more of a thing. Gotcha. That's that's the level of, of, of space tech that they're at in 2088. All right. That seems, it seems like it's going to happen way sooner than that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Some stuff's happening there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she wanted to get in on the AI access. Oh, boy. But they said nope. She should lock her desktop. Uh, and here's her, like, main data. Okay, so, like, I'm a little... So, you're watching this stuff in the past. Yes. She's obviously not pulling that stuff up. No, I am. I'm I'm the one who pulled up But you're desktop. really in this room. Yes, I am really in this room. Oh, oh something happened. Media problem? Oh, hello. That's a desktop I can click on. So this is Natalie. Uh huh. She's like the network engineer. Okay. Cluey dog. Yeah, I think this is some friend of hers from Earth. Mm hmm. <laughs> Vainy Johnny, and Wizard Marcus. Yes. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I don't like Vainy Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty into Wizard Marcus, though. <laughs> yeah, Wizard Marcus seems all right. Uh, mm -hmm. Happy obsolescence day. Thanks, Odin. I'm not getting an outside data connection. Correct. But look Additionally, at how long does that give us? Jesus, how much we should have, have about 48 hours no, of breathable I'm air. I'm trying other Maybe. AR channels. If Odin's readings are correct. All right. I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. It might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, that's bad. Anybody got any bright ideas? Someone grabs a knife. Okay. So, oh, that's the end of this vignette? But you can restart the whole thing, and or you can start from certain sections. Right. Like here, there's another recoverable data bit right here, so I'm just going to do that. Gotcha. All right. Impact from orbital debris. Critical damage. That's bad. Right. So you, you figure out why she's like, it might not be so easy. She's yeah. She's getting these messages. Oh. And you'll never get these that are The ones corrupted. that are corrupted, you just okay. don't get. Loyalty debt. Yeah, they keep talking about something called loyalty, which I think is like sort of like a second currency almost. Okay. Like it's like you're building up like loyalty points with these different corps. Um I haven't Guys, quite gotten too deep into what all that is yet. That easy. All right. So we're going to start all the way over. External. Uh I wouldn't choose to have a giant eyeball on a triangle as my AI. Yeah, you know, avatar. It's a style. I guess. I mean, well, you told me we get renewed. Yeah, so there's nothing I mean, here, but we can just see like what these two are talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think that's interesting. I guess there's just something special. Why is that can of whatever so big? Crew it's like a. Oh yeah, we yeah, haven't really picked up stuff yet. Special. Why are you grabbing that can? Is it beer can? Never happened before. Mm. Yeah. Well, everything happens once. It's a tall boy. I don't know, personally, I'm happy for us. <laughs> happy to be stuck up here with these people. For so another year. okay. So Some of them. the stuff you're picking up, mm -hmm. we assume is in your timeline. So the mess that's here is not what they're seeing. No. Okay. I mean, at some point they probably left this table like this. Right. They drank their beer. Yeah. They put on their hat, their hats. Can you pick up the hats? You have a pretty nice can. Okay. You can pick up pretty much everything. Oh really? Yeah. Like this is this is that same gone home style of like, hey, here's just stuff. Pick it up. Mess with it. Do you find stuff like under plates and things like that? You sometimes find like keys um, and other objects that are of use, but uh, oh, hello. That's yeah, paradise. please. Thank you. One What's on the floor? Is it like a napkin or a note? One more year. That's oh, a plate. A cleanup, man. Masterpiece. Yeah, thank you. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. 
Gather okay, round, gather minute. round, everyone. As per obsolescence day tradition, I like this. I like this mechanic. Yeah. Entirely by our all knowing. I've seen people compare it to sort of like the Sleep No More style of like kind of you know observed theater. Mm. You know the the way you just sort of wander into rooms and that, and just like kind of watch what happens, but it all kind of happens in simultaneous places. Right. Right. Obviously, this is a little less weird than that, but. Debris has. I have righted the station's orbit. Meeting from? I'm a bit upset. Wait. I'm not. So there's no. I I'm not getting an outside data connection. Right so you have to rewind it back to that. In, follow the engineer. Yes. And and follow her back to. All right, so let's just start this from the beginning because this is the last one of these I'm going to need to collect. So name obsolescence day. It's more like a joke. <laughs> you could say it's facetious. Kai, you probably think I'm an idiot for never even thinking about why it's called that. Out of curiosity, why did you think we were celebrating? It's unprecedented. I thought maybe it was I it when some happened. old type of AI you know, had become obsolete. But I guess that doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, no, um, AI aren't like designer hardware. As soon as the new model's out, you trade in the old one for customer loyalty. AI are more like... Um, Mighty Redwoods. There we go. Ancient... Mighty what? Redwoods. Oh. Uh -huh. That's just a recipe. Yeah, got the recipe. For my obsolescence, they cake. I talked to yesterday, or R. Mm-hmm. Okay. Organisms growing and adapting year after year, decade after decade. Put the bowl under him. This looks. Huh. Um. Sorry, this is what Odin <laughs> wanted. Thank you. Odin, uh, this is what you wanted, isn't it? That is a fairly accurate representation of my instructions. See, he loves it. Thank you, Odin. That'll be all. Yeah, but we're the ones who have to eat it. Well then, no need to keep the good people waiting, eh? Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, right. Um, be right there. Here it is, Odin's master. All right, now I'm just gonna go check out the last bit, just for you know story purposes. So you do not know what you're looking for? No, I just. Wait, oh, yeah. how do you know there's another bit? You have all the check marks. I do, but this is this is just story. Oh, this you. is just purely like, okay. hey. Someone who makes me laugh. Is that too many don't balls? Don't you like some people more than others? I suppose there are some people that engage more freely with me. Can you pick up the pool stick and play? Prefer it. See, you too. You want someone who owns uh -huh. you. Uh huh. You in. <laughs> okay. You're trying to get to know people, right? I, I, I think got that's one. what everybody wants. I wonder why some people are more open to such exchanges than others. <laughs> I don't think this is how you play pool. No, it's fine. This yeah. is how, play, how pool was played. Space pool. Trust people more. Oh, let's see. Wait, yeah, watch the watch the pool. Play, what, right? Who's on there? They're, they're raised differently from each other. Okay. Yes. We are each unique. Can you play darts? Individualized. Uh huh. Yes, individuals. Nice. I believe he's the CEO of the corporation you work for. I've never encountered another AI. Odin will remember this. How's that? I want to watch the pool table when the yeah, thing uh, erupts and see if the balls move. Separately. It won't. I don't think. What? I am told that authorities fear. Well, keep in mind again. It, this is just recording the people and their movements. Oh right, right. Okay, They're not. Just a minute. Hey. I'm not. I'm an old man. I'm a baby boomer. I'm not used wow. to AR. Uh, I'll never get used to it. Isn't never meeting something else like yourself disadvantageous? There are organizations that share your viewpoint, but it is my understanding that they have been unable to secure an intact AI to test that theory. So what game is that? Like Looks Catan? like kind of a Catan yeah. looking thing. Yeah, cup noodle. <laughs> never goes out of style. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm not getting enough. All right. So well, you just go around and you can click on anything. Pretty much. How much shit hit us? No, I, I'm trying other AR channels. Check out the bathroom. Check okay. out the space bathroom. Yeah. Wash your hands. All right. Turn on bathroom music. <laughs> How is your AI today? <laughs> uh huh. Wait. Flush it down the toilet. Can you not open the toilet? Too? I don't believe you can. What? Wait, there's a lever on the side there. Nothing. Okay. What? 
All right. I wash my hands. What's that? Uh, so. Okay. Uh, and each area has, uh, I think, at least one uh, section that's separate where people like live. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can go in there and you can usually find like little extra bits of, of data in Ugh. there. A mess. Oh, nice. So this is some, Evie. Some the, cheery, uh, some cheery reading. Yeah. It's like not a bad uh, little apartment. Oh, so like is some you know extracurricular stuff in here. Yes, I believe this was her sister. Uh, okay, there's that, that is cool. There's what, is that some food in there? Oh, it's a toy snake. It's a brooch. Is that all there is? Nice. Is that all there is? If that's all there is, my friend. The toothbrushes are weird. Is that a toothbrush? That's a toothbrush. Are you sure that's a toothbrush? Let's it's um, literally a toothbrush. Yeah, but is that a to is that like a toothbrush like from Spencer's and gift toothbrush? Like Yes, in the future Spencer's gifts took over the entire is that oh. like a back massager. You're a back massager. I've been called worse. What's she reading? Oh, Ugh. that sucks. <laughs> Good luck getting guitar strings yeah. in space. Oh, uh, we have Jazz Cleopatra. We have a. Uh, <laughs> Where's that cat? Difficult to, conversations. Okay. Uh, I can't really read those. Can't pick them up. These you can't pick up. Okay. She's got a coffee stain on her shelf. That's yeah. Those things. All right. So I think it's that's like nice in here. It's kind of everything. If it's such a mess. And there's a cat box. I feel like having a cat in space would be very unsanitary. Yeah, I don't know. You shoot, just shoot the litter out the airlock. <laughs> space poop takes down a satellite. Yeah. All right. So I think that's all for this area. I'll go a little like I'll I'll go a little further on okay. this floor, but I, not I the think whole I get way. it. Yeah. This is this is the loop though, and as you can see, like, hey, check it out. Fifty percent done of this area. Yeah, of this area. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Maybe we'll just go down here for a hot minute. Sure. Does your character ever talk? Uh, she talks a little bit at the beginning. She hasn't really said anything. Oh, right. She talked to Minnie, right? Yeah. I'm one full segment past this, and she's barely spoken. Okay. Uh, if, I mean, if who's she going to talk to? She's supposed yeah. to be by herself. And she's basically told not to talk to Odin. Right. Uh, All right. Voice of over orbital labor. What's that thing? Tape. <laughs> it's a triangle because it's the future. <laughs> Why is it space tape triangle? Right, before I start out the uh, <laughs> that seems the, inefficient. The thing here. Let's just explore the area. For maybe a it doesn't roll away. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's easier to. That grab. actually would make sense. It wouldn't roll away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's at least do the first part of this. Nature loves a triangle. That's what they always say. All right, ladies, you have everything you need? Yep, oh. Oh, so this is four days ago? Uh, yeah. yeah, they're not all the, from the same day. Okay. But this is before the, the meteor incident, right? Yes. I believe this is pre meteor, because three days ago, I think, was the meteor. Yeah. Roberta Williams. Yeah, she's the, the engineer. start. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting renewed. Okay. So if you're so sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then? Renew. Next year? Oh, next year. Nah. I'm gonna quit. Stop. What? 
they don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Huh? Do you really need direct access to Odin? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, hey Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything under the hood. Well, I'd still be pulling a paycheck for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was gonna talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but it never went anywhere. Hey, that's a good point, actually. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will work. Mm. Matt! Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh but my god. Matt, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have admit it is kind of weird to not give access to the AI okay. to the network engineer. So if you I want don't know. to then just quit, but don't everybody can be an admin user. I mean, mm. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules of rules. Nat. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Clive. I'll think about it. And for now, how about you just get the rest you know what she should do? What? While you still Stage a fake meteor strike. Aye, aye, Captain. You know what I'm saying? And that, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, again, I have not finished this. Uh... -huh. uh I, you know, I'm, I'm a little further past this. I don't know, like, you know, exactly where the story is going. Uh, from what I've gathered, it is, you know, it, it, it doesn't necessarily try and pull any sort of, like, crazy rugs out from anybody. <laughs> but uh, I've been enjoying the story for, uh, so sure. far. Like, the, the, the character detail stuff is, is fun to kind of explore. And I've, I've you know, it's... It's a pretty chill game all around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I kind of want to show. Yeah, I'm glad to. I, I didn't know about the the basic uh, the playback mechanic and, yeah. the, and the time stuff. I think that's neat and kind of piecing together simultaneous events and, and putting that puzzle together that way. I thought it'd be a little bit more linear, like on home. So I'm actually surprised to see yeah. that stuff, which I think is neat. Yeah. So that's Tacoma in a nutshell. Uh, like I said, it's 20 bucks right now. Um, I've heard anywhere between like two and four hours, kind of depending on how meticulous you are about digging through stuff and looking at cans and such uh but yeah i mean like I, i've got about i'd say you know 100 minutes in it so far and it feels like i'm probably around the halfway point if not a little further cool so, yeah thanks alex thanks bye abby she says bye abby says bye <laughs>